Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Mary. And I do believe this is probably the last card that I'll showcase for this series with the Hero Arch June kit. I'm doing another kind of clean and simple. Um, had a lot of fun with some of the inks in that came with the kit and then definitely was stamping away today. So I was bringing it back. So what I did here was I laid out how I wanted all my stamps to go on my scene and then I just started with my ink blending. And you'll notice I'm using Bristol Smooth, which I absolutely love for ink blending, but the inks that came with the kit are a dye-based ink more so for your stamping images, I believe. I did use them to blend and they blended pretty well. Um, not great, but pretty well. The orange was a little bit grainy for my liking, um, but then I realized around here that I needed to add in some of that yellow for the sunset and that, of course, is a distress ink, and you can see just how smooth that went on. So although I was able to achieve a pretty decent blend, it wasn't um, as good as I think I could have gotten it if I was using distress or distress oxides. So in the end, I was pretty happy with the way the colors came out. Actually, in person, it's much brighter than it shows up on camera, if you can kind of believe that. So after I got all my ink blending done, it was time to start doing my stamping but I didn't think I thought the scene was a little bit too big so I wanted to bring that down by using one of those lawn fawn stitch rectangle dies and I am now going to start putting down all my images I started with the grass that came with the kit I really like that grass it's very realistic of course it's not big enough to go across a five inch panel so I just extended it and then I'm just going to put down next the rocks using basic gray from Stampin' Up! ink. And I'm going to use two layers of that ink. Um, just came out a little bit light. Once I have that done, I pulled out that tiny, tiny little grass weed stamp. And I put that down as well. And I thought that added just a little bit extra to it. My lion went down with some Stampin' Up! ink as well. And I believe that was, I'm checking, which one was that? Soft suede, that was soft suede. Okay, and then um, all the lines are soft suede. Now, because this is on Bristol cardstock, the ink is not gonna soak into the paper as fast as if it was on a Nina or something else. So you see the ink kind of sit on top of the paper for a little bit here while it dries. Just make sure you don't smear or smudge as you're working because of course that will just ruin your project. I believe this scene starts to come alive when I start putting the birds down. Um, the birds are so diverse. They have them in different clusters. They have them singularly. They're, they look close up, they look far away. So I feel like that was just such a great addition to the stamp set and it came out really nice and it really brought it just to life. Once that's done, I'm going to stamp my sentiment, which is be strong. Nice encouragement card here. And then I'm going to start putting it together. So I'm going to use fun foam on the back of the card panel and I'm using it in black. It's very, very strong adhesive and it's very thick actually, this fun foam that I'm using. So I really like it. But on the other side, I don't use liquid adhesive. I use strong score tape. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to place it on a black matted cardstock. And then that's going to go on a 110 pound Nina Solar White card base with some Tombow adhesive, liquid adhesive. I realized that I wanted to do a little bit more with this card. So on the inside, I have stamped in Crumb Cake Stampin' Up! Ink, which is a softer brown, that same lion arrangement with um, not all of them, but just that one. And then I take my stencil that I just keep reusing for the sun, and I'm gonna use the orange that came in the kit, and I'm doing a little twisting motion too to get a little bit grainy looking on the sun. I got some ink splotches, so I'm taking my sander, and I'm just getting those out of there. And that finishes up the card. So I hope you like this clean and simple card. It was a lot of fun to get back to basics with stamping and kind of making your own scene and your own arrangement. So I hope you'll give that a try. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. I'd love to hear from you. And I am 
I'm going to be starting the next series here shortly. So until uh, the next video, have a wonderful day and we'll see you back. Bye-bye.